Welcome back everyone. Rug Reviews episode four. I love doing this series. I love seeing all the rugs that you guys have been making. Um, and so, yeah, I just appreciate, you know, the constant support from everyone. And I hope that these videos are helping other rug creators maybe gather inspiration and also helping the creators in the video gain a little bit of traction, some attention, things like that. Um, episode four, I, I feel like there will be an episode five and maybe an episode six. I need to go through the DMs again and gather um, some pictures from people. But in the meantime, let's get into it. Episode four, starting with One Point Supply, who sent in one rug. So I really like this design. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's from. Maybe if it was an original or from a TV show or something like that. I'm sorry if I'm unaware of something obvious that I should know. Um, but yeah, I, I like the way the colors pop. I like how intricate it is, especially up front um, in this top right corner here. I'm not sure how long this person has been making rugs, but regardless, this is really good. I like when rugs sort of come to life and this rug in particular really comes to life. And I feel like if you saw this, uh, in your friend's room on their floor um, it would be a great statement piece for their room one thing i would suggest is just focusing on the edges um, when you're cutting and shaving and things like that because you can see especially in this bottom left corner some loose strands that are kind of fraying out and if you just trim those up a little bit then it would make the rug stand out even more but thank you for submitting um, keep up the good work everyone go support one point supply and uh, yeah, let's get to the next one. Artist number two, we have Colton McCormack, who sent in four rugs. So right off the bat, I'm gonna pick my favorite, and that would have to be this bottom right one, this green mushroom. If you guys haven't seen on my Instagram, I recently made a Monstera leaf that I presented at the flea market that I was at. And so I really just like nature-y type rugs, and I also really like green rugs. For some reason um, I just like the way that green stands out I like how many different colors of green there are that you can use um, but overall all of these are really well done the CDG rug is great I've done that one before uh, I made it for my best friend back home that's a staple piece the Fendi one is really cool these are all really really well done and what I really like as well is with the Fendi one in the top right one that says DM I'm not really sure what that is um, sorry once again, if I'm missing something obvious, but um, similar to what we've talked about in previous episodes, how much font matters and just um, letters in general, the letters on these are really clean. Um, the edges are super nice and I can tell that you really take your time and make sure that you are being as accurate as possible. So I always appreciate that from artist to artist. Thank you so much for submitting these. Everyone go support and uh yeah let's get to the next artist so artist number three we have at rymar quest and or rymar quest maybe i'm ugh, probably saying that wrong sorry but they sent in two videos we'll take a look at the first one here and i'd actually seen this when i was um putting all these clips together so this is a really really interesting rug i don't know uh if this is an original design or not but regardless i really really like it and what you need to appreciate about this particular rug is the amount of time that it takes to do letters, numbers in general. And not only that, but you have like 50 numbers on this rug alone. So I can only imagine how long this took. So kudos to you for doing that. This looks amazing. I really like the design. Um, I like its originality. I'm gonna assume it's original. And then we have another video here um the georgia rug which again looks really great and once again dealing with some pretty tough lettering in here um especially cursive cursive is is kind of tough i just dealt with a rug that had a lot of cursive in it and um it's tough because when you're dealing with individual letters you can go one at a time and you can kind of like shape them the way that you want to but when you're dealing with cursive it's continuous lines throughout and so it makes it a little bit more difficult to really fine tune those letters and make them stand out. That being said, if you wanted to sculpt these 
cursive letters a little bit more, I think that they would help stand out a little bit because they're kind of getting buried in the white surrounding it. Um, but it looks like you did sculpt in other areas, um, which is good. And uh, yeah, this is a really great rug, two really great rugs. And thank you for submitting it. Everyone go support. Artist number four, we have Rare Rugs 01. They said, I've been making rugs for the past few months now. You're big inspiration to me, no cap. Been watching videos on YouTube. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, it's always nice to hear. Four rugs here. First of all, they all really stand out. Um, I like your use of colors, especially this bright pink one with the lettering. Um, there's something so great about just a rug that is two colors and just a word. I want to make a rug like that. I, I haven't figured out what I want to make, but to put somewhere on my wall or something like that, because I think they stand out. Um, and I can tell that you sculpted the letters as well because they pop even more. Like I said in these previous videos, it makes it look 3D. Really well done with that. And same with the one to the left here, uh, bottom left. I can tell that you took your time in, in shaping this and making sure that it stands out and pops. That middle emblem is really popping out of the white. And um, the shoe, obviously really great. We've seen a lot of shoes. Um, it's a staple piece. Uh, they always look great. And these lighters, I think, are my favorite. Not only because of the use of the colors, I think the yellow and the pink really stand out and they pop, um, but the detail within the flame and things like that. Um, once again, I can tell that you've shaped it really well, makes it pop, makes it stand out. And, you know, as you mentioned, you've only been making them for the past few months. That's really good. That's really, really good. These are really, really good for only doing them for a few months. I didn't understand shaping and, and 3D and, and a lot of those things until, you know, almost a year down the road for me making rugs. So really well done. Thank you for submitting these to me and everyone go support. Last but not least, we have Rugs by M who sent in one rug here, the MF Doom rug. And I really, really like this rug because of the colors used. I like the white, the way the white looks with like the dark foresty green color. Um, I also like the way that you shot this. I did this at first too, and I wanna start doing it again when I first started is um, getting rid of the background on the rugs in Photoshop or whatever it may be, and presenting them like this on your feed or whatever, your website, stuff like that. That really helps the rugs pop as well. One suggestion that I would make similar to others is if you were to shape the letters a little bit more, I think it would bring it out from the white because I think that is such a powerful green color that I think if you were to able to make that pop out a little more and stand out, it would make the rug even better overall. But once again, great work. Thank you for submitting this and uh, everyone go support. So that does it for episode four. Thank you to all five of these artists. They were all amazing. I really appreciate it. Um, once again, still accepting DMs. I anticipate a few more episodes coming. I know they've been drawn out, uh, but you know, I, I kind of like that they've been drawn out a little bit because I don't want to just do them back to back to back and then people kind of forget about them. I like that I'm taking a break in between each one so that it gets brought up again and then people may look at the previous ones and go support those artists, things like that. So just keep that in mind. Um, I know you guys like these videos and you want to see them on a more consistent basis, um, but I feel like I'm just gonna, you know, take my time with them to be sure that I'm critiquing them and talking about them in an appropriate manner and that the artists are appreciative of it and everything like that. So thank you so much. Uh, next video, I know that in my last video, which has probably already come up at this point. I said there would be two videos this week and it would be this and uh, the video that just dropped, but um, I'm actually going to do three this week. I'm working on a rug currently um, because I haven't done one of those process videos in quite some time. So uh, I saw a rug on Instagram that I wanted to just recreate just for myself to have. And so I'm going to be filming that process similar to the earlier videos for any new subscribers that are out there that want to see my process in my new space and things like that. So look out for that. Maybe post it on Friday. I'm not really sure yet, but um, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all in the next video.